guys, this is Dr. Wu. Uh, the video I will make is for Lab 1, Montana Genetics for Segregation of a Dihybrid Cross in Corn. I write a uh, uh, brief title, Dihybrid in Corn. So in this lab, we will learn how to collect the data and uh, do the CAS-square test to see the observed data we collected. We will see uh, whether the collected data fit uh, 9331 ratio of uh, independent assortment law made by uh, Mondo. In previous uh, lab in biology one, we learned the uh, chi-square test for monohybrid. That refers to uh, one gene segregation. And this section is uh, continuous part of uh, Mondadling genetics. So we will learn how two genes will segregate. The law is called Mondadling independent assortment law. Uh, the detail can be known in genetic portion of biology textbook. In this case, we'll still use the same sample uh, for monohybrid. The difference is that uh, this time we we'll treat color and uh, sugar in two genes at the same time. When they segregate, there will be four different phenotypes. The first one is called the uh, color dent, which is like this. So the color um, is dark and uh, there's uh, uh, the dent at the top. That's the first uh, group. The second group is this uh, colored shrinking or sugar. So we can see at the top, this one is uh, the, uh, all the four sides and the top collapse. So it, it's like a, a shrinking that's caused by the gene, uh, the second gene responsible for uh, sugar. Then the third one is colorless, and the, the dent that we see is happening uh, at the top. Uh, the colorless. The fourth one is colorless and uh, shrinking or sugar kernel collapse at four sides and at the top of the shrinking or sugar. This is colorless. Uh, hypothesis is that uh, the sample from the kernel carbs fits 9331 ratio of independent assortment. The result I get is for four groups, this is colored dent 105 kernels, and it's colored and shrinking 30 kernels. This is a colorless dent 26 kernel, and this is colorless shrinking 13 kernels. So those are the observation uh, of uh, the sample from core and carb. Record those data into page one of lab one, that's those observed data, 105, 13, 26, 13, that total is 174 kernels. I already calculate the expected uh, kernel number, so, which is the total times um, the corresponding fragment. Let's say this uh, kernel, colored kernel dent is uh, nine, out of 16, 174 times 9 over 16, the result is 97.7. Then the rest of expected numbers calculate in the same way. Next, I will uh, review the cas square test and uh, how to use cas square statistics to make a conclusion. The cas square test uh, is the statistic test for test whether uh, observed data fit a certain ratio. We have observed data and uh, expected data. Difference between this squared divided by expected. Summation of all the difference. That's the cas square. Our case, the cas square, uh, the first group, colored dent, is collected this way. O minus E means observed value minus expected value is 105 minus 97.9 equals 7.1. Square that value O minus E squared equals 
equals seven point one squared equals fifty point eight. This O minus E squared divided by expected value in at a group. Well, that's a fifty point eight divided by ninety seven point nine. The value is point five two. I just record this results in a table on page one. After you get all number filled in the table, you're able to get k square here. This is calculator one, and we use a standard which is k square at five percent or point zero five, with a degree of freedom of three. And this number can be obtained from table attached. In this lab, so if a calculate value smaller than the standard value, then this number p p means the probability of fit will greater than 0.05. We accept the hypothesis means the data will collect fit 9331 ratio of independent assortment. If k squared great Or equals the standard value, then the fit, the probability of fit will be smaller than or equal 0.05. We reject hypothesis, means、uh, the observed data does not fit 9331 ratio of、uh, independent assortment. After you finish the calculation on page one, you are able to answer the questions on page two. The first one, question A: How many degrees of freedom do you have? In this case, we have four different phenotypes. The degrees of freedom equals three. The three is determined by four minus one equals three. That that's the process of getting degrees of freedom because the definition for、uh, degrees of freedom is. N minus one, and in this case is four, and the, the degrees of freedom is four minus one equals three. Then you use a touched k-square table to find the probability of fit. In this case,、uh, you need to get the k-square and figure out that p-value by yourself、uh, using a touched table. State your null hypothesis, and finally. Make a decision whether or not to accept your hypothesis. That's all for lab one. Thank you for watching. Bye.